Tonight on Gravitas, we bring you news that may change your life. It's a breakthrough that the world is waiting for. The world is getting closer to a vaccine that can treat cancer. You heard that right. Cancer vaccines could soon become a reality. And India, by the way, is on the cusp of making treatment more affordable and less painful. This is extremely important, as for too long, cancer meant death, but now a ray of hope has emerged. While cancer is, of course, not new, a cancer vaccine is. And guess what? Indian scientists and researchers are leading the global efforts, which is incredible, considering that Indian scientists do not even have the same resources that those in the West have. And we'll get to that in just a bit. First, let me tell you about what Russia has been able to achieve so far. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has said that Russian scientists are on the verge of developing cancer vaccines and next generation immunomodulatory drugs. He said, and I'm quoting, I hope that soon they will be effectively used as methods of individual therapy. Now, it's not clear which cancer types this vaccine can actually treat. But if what Putin is saying is true, it will be one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of our time. You see, governments around the world, as well as pharmaceuticals, are working on cancer vaccines. And in India, an indigenously made HPV vaccine is broadening the possibilities of cervical cancer control. It's called Cervavac. It was made by the Indian vaccine maker, the Serum Institute of India and the Indian government's Department of Biotechnology. It was launched last year. Cervavac is India's first indigenously developed quadrivalent human papilloma virus or QHPV vaccine. It is said to be effective against four strains of the virus, type C, type 11, type 16 and type 18. Now you must be wondering what a quadrivalent vaccine is. Let me break this down for you. It is a type of vaccine that works by stimulating an immune response against four different antigens, like four different viruses or other microorganisms. But HPV vaccines are not new. Around the world, there are currently six licensed vaccines against HPV. So what makes the Made in India HPV vaccine unique? The Cervavac has demonstrated a robust antibody response that is nearly 1,000 times higher than the baseline against all targeted HPV types. They say it has big potential to eliminate cervical cancer. A Lancet study last year found the Cervavac is as effective as global vaccines. Cervavac is currently undergoing evaluation so that it can be included in the national immunization program. And once included, it is expected to be cheaper than the international options. Starting this year, the Serum Institute of India will significantly boost the annual production of Cervavac. Currently, the Serum Institute of India makes 2 to 3 million doses of this vaccine and the plan is to make 70 million doses this year. That's a big jump. But you see, it aligns with the government of India's efforts to introduce the HPV vaccine for girls between the ages of 9 to 14. Despite being largely preventable, cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women globally and India... It accounts for about a fifth of the global burden of cervical cancer. Every year, 1.23 lakh new cases are reported in India and around 70,000 deaths due to cervical cancer are recorded, recorded every year. But a treatment must not only be accessible, it should also be affordable. And India is at the forefront of the efforts to make cancer treatment more affordable. This is where I tell you about another big breakthrough in the race to treat cancer. India's Tata Hospital and IIT Mumbai have invented a new technology called the CAR-T to treat blood cancer. Two phase trials have been completed so far, in fact, and the results are very, very promising. They found it to be 99% effective on children. Now, we all know how painful chemotherapy is, but research has found that this new technology will ensure that those who undergo treatment 
do not have to endure much pain like in chemotherapy. How exactly does it work? With a single dose, you heard that right. With CAR-T technology, complete treatment is possible in a single dose. First, the patient is admitted to the hospital where the blood sample is taken. It is then taken to the laboratory and worked on. When the CAR-T cells are ready in the blood samples, a dose is given to the patient. And after that, the patient is kept in the hospital for 15 days. And during this time, the health is monitored constantly to check if the therapy is working. And then they are free to go home. And regular checkups continue. Researchers found that the CAR T cell technology is very effective in treatment of advanced blood cell cancer. They see it as a universal remedy in the treatment of cancers, cancers that will not be cured by chemotherapy or other techniques. The technology has been given to 30 big hospitals in India, and because it is made completely in India, it is very affordable. In fact, so far, only America and some European countries had this technology, which meant it was very expensive for the patients. A treatment abroad costs 3 to 4 crore rupees. In India, it can now be treated for only 50 lakh rupees. That will make a huge difference. It will make cancer treatment affordable. The CAR-T technology has taken 10 years to develop. It's not 100% there yet, but good results have been seen in patients and that in itself has researchers here in India very excited at the prospect, naturally. These are some big advancements being made in cancer treatment. Could the cure for cancer come from India? Researchers say the possibilities are huge. Whereas earlier Indians had to go abroad for cancer treatment, the big leaps being made in India will ensure that in the future, patients can come to India for cancer treatment. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.